Welcome to this Power Teacher Gradebook screencast where I'm going to show you how to mark and score assignments in the gradebook. So here I am in the gradebook. I've already added two assignments. I added a uh, summative assignment, which is green, and I added a formative assignment, which is red. You can see here as I mouse over, a little yellow box pops up that gives me the details of the assignment since it's a little hard to read here written up and down, so that's just a helpful note. Uh, let's go through how to actually mark and score these. So let's start with the summative first. When you're, when you're on the assignment, you can click on the little S here. This little S tab pops out the, uh, the standards associated with that assignment out here to the right. So this is the assignment. These are the three standards I happen to attach to this assignment. Let's talk about the assignment first. No numerical values should go in for the actual assignment itself. The only thing that should go in for the assignment is a green check mark. To get the green check mark, you have to do a right click on the computer, and that brings up the little mini menu, and you can choose collected. Collected is the green check mark. If you haven't collected an assignment from a student and you do want to communicate that through Power Teacher Gradebook, you can right click and choose missing. That'll just put a little placeholder in there until you do collect the assignment. But the only thing that should go in for assignments are green check marks. Now, if you've collected all the assignments and you know you have them, uh, you don't have to go and right click on each individual cell for each student and choose collected. You can do a fill scores. What a fill scores is, is this. If you right click, a choice further down is fill scores. This brings up a box that gives you some choices that will fill all of the, all of the uh, scores for that assignment. So here, the first choice is what cells do I want to fill? I want to say items with no score. So that's going to fill in the rest of the students in this class. Here are the choices you can turn on. You first have to turn them on with this checkbox. So I'm going to click this to turn on collected. Now that it's lit up, now I can actually choose it by clicking this checkbox. So this is telling the gradebook to fill everything with a green check mark. Notice it did also fill the missing. If you want to turn the missing off or if you want to turn the collected off for a given student you do have to right click on that student's cell and then choose that choice that is checked to turn it off. So that got rid of the missing. Uh, as a teacher I might go through and, and fill all the students and if I'm only missing one or two I might go to those students and just right click and choose collected to turn it off showing that I don't have the assignment yet from that student. So that's the actual assignment. Let's talk about the standards. For the standards, you fill in a numerical value between 0 and 4, and you can do halves. So if a student did get a 2.5 or a 3.5, halves are fine. You don't want to go anything less than halves. There should be no 3.25 or 2.76 or anything like that. With zeros, you should only give a 0 if you have no evidence that the student has met that standard or completed that standard. Uh, zeros should not be given just to show no credit. They should be given for no evidence. With giving halves, make sure that uh, you do have enough to justify having the half. Uh, we don't want to give halves for everything because that really breaks down the four-point scale. So make sure whatever rubric you're using, maybe take a look at the rubric and see if the student does fit into a whole number range. Um, but the half is there if you do need to assign at the halfway point. When you fill these in, after they're all filled in, the tab, that gray tab up here, as soon as I hit enter, that gray tab will turn green, showing that all the standards have been filled in. So you can collapse these when you don't need to see all the standards, uh, and that, that green S does signify that all of these standards have been completed for that assignment. Just a good visual to know as you go through your gradebook. Let's talk about formatives. Formatives are a little bit different. Uh, let me open the standards for these. Formatives are used more for tracking the work that students do leading up to a summative. So for that reason, they should not in be included in the final grade. You still will show collected. So if you had to give or do a fill scores here to give a check mark to everybody. So I'll do that again here, giving collected. We're going to pretend that the students all handed this one in. Now, when it comes to the standards, if we do put in the numerical values here, they do calculate into the final score, and we don't want that to occur. So I'm going to put in some numbers here. That is changing the final grade over here. In order to make it so that these really don't count, we have to exempt the entire standard for that assignment. So we do that the same as we do the fill scores. We do a right click and choose fill scores. And I already put some numbers in there. 
So I'm going to choose replace all. Whether it's blank or whether there's numbers, it's probably best to choose replace all. After choosing replace all, I'm going to choose exempt by turning it on first and then clicking the checkbox and then clicking OK. Now visually what's going to happen is the standards are all going to gray out. Those numerical values will all gray out and they will be a little italicized, little slanted text, except the one you're clicked on. The one you're clicked on just is not italicized. So this means that all of these have been grayed out, so they are currently not being included in the final grade. So you can do that before you enter the numbers or after you enter the numbers, but that has to be done per standard for a formative. If you do put in exempt for a formative, you can still put a number in, but watch this. Notice, whoops, I actually clicked late there. Let's turn that one off. Uh, when you do uh, have exempt, and if there's nothing in the blank, it fills in the EX. If I put a number in, notice that the numbers are still grayed out. So this does tell you that they are still not being calculated in the final score. So that's very important for the, uh, for the formatives to go through standard by standard. And the reason that is is because even though we set it at the category level, categories only apply to the assignment. They don't apply to the actual standard. So there's, there's no way to tell the grade book uh, to calculate that out. So the best way to do that is to exempt all of the standard scores for a formative assignment. So all of those will calculate into the final grade. These tabs at the top of the score sheet also give you some other information. In the final grades area, let me save my gradebook first here. Uh, in the final grades area, you'll see those standards and behaviors. We'll talk about that more at the end of the term when you need to fill those in. Here is where, over on this right side, when students are doing assignments, this is where all of the standards are calculating together or totaling up by students. So here's your student list. As they work on assignments that include this standard, this, is, this will combine them. Again, only if they are included in the final grade. If they're exempt, they, don't, or they are not included in this uh, standard score. The student view breaks it down by student. So if you wanted to go through student by student and see exactly how students are doing, uh, this, this student view tab is very helpful for that. So looking at this, here's a formative and a summative that I gave. Again, color code distinction based on the colors you chose. And then over here, when I look at this, I can see these are grayed out, so these don't count. The solid black ones do count. So that is how you mark and score your assignments for standards-based grading. Thanks for watching.